Several weeks ago, a very well-known actor passed away in Hollywood. His name was Leonard Nimoy, and he was famous throughout the science fiction world as Mr. Spock from Star Trek. Leonard Nimoy had a very interesting history. Both of his parents were Jews that had come from Eastern Europe. He himself was not an observant Jew, and yet he remained a Jew and a proud Jew for the duration of his career. He's very famous for initiating a certain greeting in the Star Trek shows and movies. And that was the Vulcan greeting where he would say, live long and prosper. And when the greeting was given, the hand was held in a particular way, like this. And he would say, live long and prosper. And he was asked, where exactly did he get that greeting from? And he explained that this was an ancient Jewish priestly blessing. And indeed, Leonard Nimoy, although he was not a learned person, was right on the money over here. He was correct. Because this is the Birchat Koanim. This is the priestly blessing. That priests, Koanim, throughout the world, specifically in the land of Israel, every single day, give this priestly blessing. And they hold their hands in a particular style. And they say those famous words that are recorded in this week's parasha. Yivarecha cha Hashem ve'yishmerecha. May Hashem bless you and safeguard you. Ya'er Hashem panave lecha vichuneka. May He be gracious to you. Yisa Hashem panave lecha v'yasem lecha shalom. And may He grant you peace. This is perhaps the most famous of all Jewish blessings. And it is in fact the only blessing that the Torah actually tells us the text. That you have to say these words and only these words. The rest of the blessings that we say within our liturgy were written by the rabbis, particularly the rabbis of the great assembly, that great body that was formed by Ezra. Let's look at a moment, for a moment, at the beginning of this blessing. Yivarechacha Hashem v'yishmerecha. May Hashem bless you and may He safeguard you. What do those two terms mean exactly? Yivarechacha. Blessing usually implies an increase. Whatever you have, may Hashem bless you. If you have food, you should have more food, whether it be in quantity or quality. If you have children, may Hashem bless you that you should have more children. If you have money, you should have more money. If you have spiritual success, you should have more spiritual success. Bracha always implies riboy, an increase. And in fact, that's why it is that the Torah begins with the letter bet. Bereshit bara elokim. Because the act of creation was an increase. To begin with, there was just Hashem, and now suddenly there was more. So blessing implies to give a person more of the blessings that they have in life. But that's not enough. Rashi explains that Hashem then has to say, V'yishmerecha, that Hashem should keep you, He should guard you. Because it's one thing to have all of that wealth, but what if somebody comes and takes it, and takes it away from you? Then all of that blessing was in vain. And therefore we say to the person that Hashem should bless you, but He should also keep you. All of the blessings that you have should also be kept, otherwise they are worthless. There was no point in having them in the first place. But the great Lithuanian scholar, the Natsiv, explains as follows. Yevarechacha indeed means Hashem should bless you with whatever blessing it may be. The Yishmerecha means He should guard you from the blessing. Because sometimes a blessing can actually bring a person down. So for example, let's say Hashem blesses a person with a great deal of money. Well, what can lead to that? That the money will take him away from Hashem. The money will take him away from his family. The money will take him away from things that are valuable. He might get into a mindset of, as King Solomon says, I have 100, now I want 200. I have 200, now I want 400. And this could actually lead to his premature death. So Hashem, guard him from the blessing that you gave him. The same thing applies when it comes even to wisdom, Torah wisdom. Yivarechacha, so you're blessing a scholar. Hashem should bless you, you should have wisdom. But you should also be guarded from your blessing. Because sometimes too much wisdom can be a curse. A person can become very arrogant. I'm a great rabbi, I know so much. Therefore Hashem, guard you against that blessing. To understand that whatever you have has to be seen as a blessing. Not because necessarily you were deservant of it. Not because it was something that you were entitled to. 
and to realize that it is a, bl a blessing, and you are the custodian of that. You have to be modest and hold on to it. So it's true that in life we ask for plenty, we ask for blessings, but at the same time we need to be guarded against our blessings so that they don't lead to anything negative. I wish you a Shabbat Shalom.